Hello my wolf pack and welcome back to another week of the TBL Season 6. Today we are battling Goldo with Dragon. Uh, links, all these links will be down in the comment section below. Please can you go down there and show him some love, uh, show him some wolf pack love. Uh, I'm sure that he would be a huge fan of that. For some reason my audio doesn't seem to be playing too loud, but let's turn that up ever so slightly. There we go. Okay, so hopefully that's not too loud. Just modifying my audio ever so slightly as I go. <laughs> Um, but yeah, hopefully this should be a really fun battle. Um, I'm, I'm terrified. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'm terrified. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I think my lead is Mian Xiao. Uh, yeah, I think the, the lead is Mian Xiao. I think he's still getting started. Um, but yeah, I could definitely see the zero. Well, I, Tornadus plus Cephalon 100% coming. Rotom Mo, I think, is probably coming. It deals with my Rotom Wash really well, and that's one of the the few it deals with, um, my race on wash. Uh, Dredagon, I could definitely see coming as well. Possibly even Kangaskhan uh, as an option as well. Um, <sighs> Zero Aura, not not sure. I'm Primarina, 100%. Prim so, Blacephalon, Primarina, and Tornadus, I think 100% are coming. Dredagon, I could definitely see. Rotomo or Zero Aura. One of those two is definitely coming. And then I, I reckon probably Steelix. Um just to allow him to have that rocks coverage, but um, I think my team actually scares him a little bit with, with bringing Steelix, so, you know, if Steelix doesn't come, I'm actually going to be quite happy. Uh, if Steelix does come, then it could be a bit of a problem. But as I said, I think my lead will be uh, Mian Xiao here. Oh, I'm getting so nervous, and they, I know they're getting the stream started, because obviously, you know, streams. Um, but yeah, we're just waiting for gold to... Um, Click OK. Uh, I'm so nervous, especially considering I, I lost so badly last last week. If we don't get a 6-0, <laughs> if it's 5-0 or less, I will be happy. I am going to try not to get flustered this time. Obviously, I had lots of issues last time with, um, with well, the really weird thing about it, because <laughs> God hasn't come in, the really weird thing about was it was, on my screen, everything was laggy as hell. Like, my video was not working at all. My, like, everything on my end was lagging horrendously. But the video that was going through to the Discord call that I had to the stream was completely flawless. So I do not understand what happened. Like, it just seems a really, really weird, uh, <laughs> like, thing to happen. Like, why was mine so bad? I, d I just don't really understand, uh... Why that happened, obviously that led to me getting really flustered uh, in the last battle um, and losing pretty badly because of it, and I just didn't plan properly. Um, I, I relied too much on the Ashifu, um, but this week I have planned more around, and we are about to start this battle, so we're going to select our participating Pokemon. Let's see what he's brought. Um, Blacephalon, Tornadus, Zero Aura, Rotom Mo, Primarina, and Lipard. Okay, no Steelix, which is good. Um, if that is Scarfed, then I am absolutely terrified. If that is Scarfed, then I'm terrified. Um, the Lipard, I honestly didn't expect to see. Uh, unless he's trying to, like, get a nasty plot out onto, onto something. I don't know, but I think I'm leading with Mian Shell here. I think that makes sense. Uh, Pre Marina was 100% going to come. Uh, what else that? I expected the Dredagon. I did expect the Dredagon. The only thing he's really got for Rotom Wash, I guess he's got the Zero Aura as well. But uh, he does have uh, the, the, the Rotom Wa the Rotom Mo is probably the, the thing that deals with Rotom Wash. Rotom Wash, other than that, can somewhat freely uh, go into this team, uh, especially if I can kind of set up my trick room. Uh, God, I'm nervous. You can probably hear it in my voice. Uh, he is taking a long time to decide. Uh, if that's Scarf, Scarf Blacephalon is scary. Uh, Blacephalon lead. He didn't bring the Hitmonlee, so no one burdened, so I'm relatively free to knock off. Uh, turn one if I feel like it. Uh, but we will see what he leads here. What does he lead with? He could lead with Primarina. If he leads with Primarina, that's a fantastic uh, play. Uh, Ashera. That is... Okay, that is... The Tornadus, that's kind of, I think, the worst possible uh, lead in this scenario. 
Um, I do just fake out here, I think. Uh, I get some chip damage on this thing. Um, but yeah, that is kind of the worst possible lead uh, that I could have saw. That is the worst thing that I could have seen. Um, what do I go into is the thing. And the amount of damage that did, that makes me think it's not bulky, maybe. Um, Air Slash or Nasty Plot would probably be my prediction. And I don't think it can hit my Rotom too bad. I'm going to go to Rotom Wash here. This might be a huge mistake. Acrobatics. Okay, really interesting. Really interesting. Um... But we do see it's a life orb. We do see it's life. I didn't prep for life orb variant. Um, does he bring anything? Has he brought anything that can? He has got the volt absorb on the zero aura, so it would make sense. It would definitely make sense for me to go for hydro pump here. If I if I was feeling ballsy, if I was feeling ballsy, I would go back into possibly Mian Shao for the Rotom Mo. But I'm not feeling ballsy here. I'm going to go for the Hydro Pump. I think that's the safe play. He does withdraw. He probably goes into the Zero Aura. It makes so much sense. Uh, Serene. A oh, Rotom Mo. Okay, yeah. Uh, that was that was definitely the safest play of the uh, of the two. Uh, Rotom Mo. With that, that does so much damage. Um, it is leftovers. It is leftovers. That's good to know. It's more of a defensive variant by the looks of it. Um, although the fact that they did a lot of damage, I'm not sure. Um, I could go into Dragonite here. I could definitely go into Dragonite here. I could go back into Mian Shao. I mean, 100% expecting a Leaf Storm here. I kind of want to go into Dragonite, unless it's it's definitely not Hyper Voice Throat Spray. I think Dragonite's relatively free to come in here. I think Dragonite's relatively free. He does go for the Volt Switch, that means the Primarina probably comes in. That does mean the Primarina probably comes in. Uh, realistically. But I have got the Thunder Punch, and the Thunder Punch is going to hit that Primarina so friggin' hard. Um, what else could come in? What else could come? Ellis. Elise. It is, it is the Primarina, okay. Um, I think... I'm, unless it's Scarf... To which I get some really good knowledge, but at the same time, this can hit me for super effective damage. I am now chip damaged. I kind of want to go back into Rotom. At the same time, I kind of want to go to Leafeon, but I think the Ice Beam is too obvious here. Um, Ice Beam. I'm going to see. I'm going to risk Dragonite. I'm going to risk Dragonite here for a Thunder Punch. I'm hoping that it's not Scarf. Okay, we do outspeed, we do hit that Thunder Punch. I don't know how much it does. A lot of damage. Uh, that's basically 55 accuracy. That is gold. No, that's naughty. Um, I guess anticipating Moonblast is the only thing I can do. Maybe going to Azelf. But he, Ice Beam, I think Azelf is the safest play here. As I, I mean, Rotom Wash is the safest play, but I kind of need Rotom Wash uh, for later on in the match because it's such a good matchup here. Uh, it's going to go for the Moonblast here. Okay, so yeah, that was the... the not cor necessarily correct. That did so much damage to me. How did that do so much damage? Jeez, I did not count this properly. Um, Apparently. Does he have anything that comes in on a Thunder Punch? I can't go Zen Headbutt here, I think, actually. I think I'll go Zen Headbutt and just hit whatever it is. The Primarina realistically... Oh, no, he lets it go down. You're kidding! I'm I'm fuming. That is that is actually ridiculous. That is actually ridiculous. <laughs> oh, my God. That is a joke. That is actually a joke. Um, <laughs> He gets a sing. I can't even get a Zen Headbutt. Like, that is not fair. That is not actually fair. I'm going to Swords Dance here. He might let this thing go down. Uh, he might have Ice Beam for coverage. Um, 
Oh, he does. He does stay in. Okay, good. Okay, that's fine. Uh, this thing realistically can't take me out because I am max special defense. I'm tempted to bat and pass. I am going to bat and pass. Into. The drill's kind of my only choice here. If he goes to surf here predicting that, then that is actually a, a really good play. No, he gets to the moon blast. Okay, that shouldn't hit me too hard, but at the same time, that Primarina destroyed. Um, I think I'm just going to rock slide. Okay, good. That hits. That should take out the Primarina. Nice. Okay, I'm just checking that wasn't a legal play. I, no, okay, good. There's nothing been commented, so for some reason I just panicked that that was an illegal play. Um, the Zero Aura could come in. And I don't know if the Zero Aura outspeeds me. Saizo, what's that? That is Lipard. Okay, is this Choice Specs Burning Jealousy, maybe? I think regardless, I go for Rock Slide. Okay, plus two, Rock Slide. Oh, it's Focus Sash, that's why. Invisible Sash, but the flinch! Oh my god! Oh my god! I, to be fair, Gold, don't get mad about that. Do not get mad about that. That is not fair for you to get mad about. Because, um, that, I mean, I missed the Zen here button, you hit the, the thing. We are even in terms of hacks now. We are even in terms of hacks. I've also just hit, like, three rock sides in a row. Um, and at least we know, we're guaranteed, that this is not going to be, um, 6-0. Um, but honestly, this is, this is fab. This is, I'm in a really good position here. A really good position. Uh, he doesn't want to bring the Torn in. He definitely doesn't want to bring the Torn in. Um, he does bring the Rotom Mo in, which... At that range, I'm not sure. I mean, Blacephalon is still very scary. Blacephalon's definitely really scary. Um, because that can be a problem. I'm obviously just going to stay in and click Rock Slide at this point. Uh, I do miss. That's, that's fair. Uh, reflect. Okay, so... Um, that is definitely there. Uh, that's definitely—it's not likely though. So, you know, five turns. Let's see if I can get some more get some more uh, rock slide hacks going on. But yeah, definitely that was that was a fantastic play by him. Uh, yeah, really good to have reflect on there as well. But yeah, I'm um, gonna go for the rock slide again. This probably does about thirty. Oh, it doesn't even do thirty. Wow. Um, interesting play. Very interesting. Uh, did he expect me to switch out? I know I go down to a Leaf Storm, potentially. But I'm going to go for that Rock Slide. I'm just going to try and stall out some turns here. Uh, the Leaf Storm could be coming. It could take me out, definitely. Uh, although, if it's not an offensive variant, uh, a special attack does harshly fall there. Uh, but I am just going to click Rock Slide again, just to literally stall out another turn. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to bring Mian Chao again. Consider stalling another turn with a uh, fake out, because why not? Uh, Will O Wisp, okay. It's fair. Why, I'm, not, I'm not sure why you didn't go for that beforehand, because that would have really uh, effed me up. That would have given me a, a real bad situation. Uh. Right, okay, so that's, that's drill down. That's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, I could stall for a turn with Dragonite here. I could go into Leafy on here, and I could just click X-Scissor. Uh, but I think the right play is probably Mien Shao with the Fake Out. Probably. Like, And then if the, um, the Cephalon comes in, assuming it's not Scarfed, uh, I've still got my Rotom there, so I'm going to fake out here. There's really no reason not to. It just gives me that extra turn of the Reflect uh, as an option. So he, he does keep this thing in. 
I do lose some HP, that's fine. He flinches and can't move. He's going to get some health back. Reflects War off, fantastic. So, Poison Jab should definitely take it out. And if he goes into anything else, I don't think they're going to want to take a Poison Jab. There we go. Okay, no more Reflect shenanigans, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> um... At this point, Leafeon's dead weight, so I kind of... He brings in the Tornadus, almost guaranteeably. Uh, Tornadus comes in. And then I kind of... I think I go into Leafeon and just let that go down. No, it goes into the Cephalon. Okay. This is interesting. Okay, if he's trying... If he's Scarf, then that's going to do a lot of damage. That's going to take me out. If he's not Scarf... Then realistically, I should take him out, unless he's Colberberry. Flamethrower, okay, yeah, no, he's Scarfed. He is 100% Scarfed. Um, so what do I do in this instance of a Scarf? Oh, he's Beast Boost. Oh, crud, I forgot about Beast Boost as a thing. Um, I still don't think Rotom Wash will go down to it. He could definitely take me out here. He could definitely win here. Um, nothing on his team wants to hit, take a Hydro Pump. So I just Hydro Pump here and hope. I could Pain Split. The Shadow Ball, I don't know what, what the Shadow Ball does to me. I think the Hydro Pump is, is safer if I miss. Has he got Power Herb? Is that Power Herb on it? What? I should have outsped with Mian Shao. What the hell? I am s What? That's going to take me out. 100%. What? I am... S I'm confused. So friggin' confused. That's now plus two. Yeah, I think I lose. What? I'm 100% sure I calked... Yeah, I, I flat out lose. I am sure I calked me in shout out speed. I think I just... It's probably just a GG in the chat here. Um... Yeah, no, that's that's a GG. Unless my Dragonite can live some stupid hit and wake up first turn. I'm just gonna click Earthquake here. Shadow Ball, yeah, that, that does like that's gonna take me out. I know what I did! I put the wrong nature on the end shell. It was jolly in my planner. Oh, you're kidding me. I copied it into Showdown wrong. Oh my god, I am annoyed. That is the worst thing. That is the worst, that is, honestly, I am so annoyed. Um, I put the wrong nature on it. Oh, that gave me the loss. Oh, and had, had I have not, that's a GG. That's I'm I'm mad at myself for that. At least I got a point because it was a free. I'm mad because I think I would have won had I would or, or there would have been it would have been really close. Yes, I would like the lead card. Oh my god. Uh, so just so I put the wrong nature. On my Mian Chow to be ginned. <laughs> that is that is so friggin' sad because I specific and I specifically said this in the video as well. Or it was a speed tie. Um, I need to double check it, but you know, I'm gonna double check it myself. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> like we, we lost. That's fine. Um, but yeah, GGs. Um, Oh, that was a really fun match. Like, you, I'm, I'm, fr I'm frustrated because that was my mistake. My mistake entirely. Or it was a case that we were, like, we were, it was a speed tie. Which I'm just, I'm annoyed at. I'm annoyed at, you know. But yeah, I suppose that's all. That's, how, that's what happens sometimes when you're, when you're playing, well, when you're like me and just an idiot. But yeah, that is all. Well, that was much closer. I feel like... My team was good there, and a Jenny mishap, I think, 
lost us the game potentially there, honestly. Um, because, yeah, I would have gone out to Leafeon, he would he would have gone to Sornidus after the Placephalon, I would have gone to Leafeon, let Leafeon go down, uh, come out into Rotom Wash, Rotom Wash would have gone for Hydro Pump, probably hitting the, um, yeah, no, that, that would have been almost guaranteeably my match. If I had have done it right, ugh, I'm so mad, but yeah. <laughs> make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you comment, let me know what fool I am, but yeah. That's all for today. I'll see you soon.